to talk about today is the Radian Ramjet. If you're unfamiliar with what the Radian Ramjet is, it is a compensator set up for Glock pistols. Now, the Ramjet itself is actually the barrel, and the afterburner is the compensator, and then there's a third piece. You don't need it, but you can add it. It's the compressor, and that is the guide rod recoil assembly, um, and you can have the whole kit. So, the reason why Radian sent these to us was not to make content or anything like that. They sent them to us so we could evaluate them to determine if we wanted to sell them on our website or not. So that was kind of the purpose of the testing behind these. And the, how we tested these is on a comparison basis. So I fired about 4,000 rounds through the entire system, mainly on this Gen 5 uh, Glock 45. I fired it uh, without the compressor, so just an OEM guide rod. And uh, I shot 3,500 rounds of the evaluation through this pistol specifically. And then I shot another uh, 500 rounds or so through the MR920 or XR920 shadow system gun just to kind of see how it did on a non Glock type pistol. And then I also shot them uh, about a thousand rounds or so on my personal Glock 19 um, that my wife actually carries. What we compared these two was the recoil impulse to a Glock 17. Now, the reason why we did this is because if you look at these pistols, uh, Glock 45 or a Glock 19, it's the same slide length with the compensator setup, it is the almost the exact same length as a Glock 17. So considering the price point of these, I would like to see the recoil impulse be similar or hopefully better than to a Glock 17, which is you know the same size. Probably the biggest question you guys have about the system is did it malfunction? Now our normal malfunction rate with our stock Glock pistols, we may have like a disconnector or some small thing swapped out in our Glocks, but they're mostly OEM, is about a quarter of a percent to a half a percent. So every anywhere between one every 200 rounds and one every 400 rounds um, is our typical malfunction rate. And that's gonna be a failure to eject, failure to feed, failure to get slide lock in the pistol, all of those common things, uh, double feeds, stuff like that. Now, with this system, I didn't experience any additional malfunctions. I didn't experience any increased malfunction rate, except for one thing. So after a thousand rounds of firing, I started to notice failure to get a slide lock on empty magazines, and that was with the compressor. So I was using the 15 pound compressor. So that what that means is this this guy here, you can change out the springs. It comes with three different springs. I don't remember what exactly pound it, what sp exact poundage the other two springs are, but I went with the 15 pound spring, which is the same as an OEM uh, Glocks guide rod. And uh, after that thousand rounds, I swapped to an OEM guide rod, and I fired about another 1,500 rounds before I started to get uh, issues with slide lock again. So the, long story short, the only issue I noticed malfunction-wise was failure to get slide lock, and that's pretty common with compensators. There's just not as much pressure coming back um, because of the compensator. Next question you're, you're probably going to have is, how does it shoot? Well, it shoots extremely well. Now, comparatively to a Glock 17, like I said, that's how we compared the recoil impulse. Uh, it's pretty similar. Now, Glock 17s and Glock 34s have a very soft recoil impulse. If you ever shot a Glock 45, which is just, again, a Glock 19 um, slide on a Glock 17 frame, basically, it's pretty soft. It's a little bit more snappy, but it's much quicker. Now, the best way I can explain how this thing recoils is just speeding up the Glock 45's recoil even faster. So it's still going to have that little bit of a snap. The muzzle, uh, the muzzle flip is definitely reduced. It's the recoil mitigation is definitely improved, but it's the best way I can explain it is just speeding up the recoil impulse so you can just get on the gun a little bit quicker. Now, do I think it's better than a Glock 17? I don't think so, personally. I think the Glock 17, because of how soft it is, you can just speed a little bit, almost as fast, if not just as fast as the Ramjet. Now, the other things to note with the shooting experience with these guys is it is a compensator, so the concussion from this thing is pretty intense, especially for the shooter. Now, someone like me, I'm pretty sensitive to concussions is first few rounds shooting is, I could definitely, I could like feel it in my sinuses. I had to get used to it. But like I said, I did shoot about 4,000 rounds through these. So I obviously I got used to it over time. And the shooter next to you is definitely gonna notice it. Um, and lastly, on the shooting experience point I wanna bring up is the uh, flash from these things. So pistols already have a good amount of flash. I'm, I'm gonna talk about like you're shooting under nods because that's really the only time you're gonna notice the flash or care about the flash. Um, Pistols already have a lot of flash, but this compensator definitely adds to it. So if this is a pistol you're gonna be shooting under nods a lot, that's something you probably wanna consider. If you guys have noticed on our website, we don't have these, and the main reason why is because of the price point. Now, I hope I made it clear throughout the, the beginning of this video is that this thing performs very well. It looks very good. The machining on it is up to Radian's, you know, 
how they do things is very consistent. It's very well done. I mean, this thing fits on slides perfectly. It's just, there's a lot of attention detail with this thing, but with all of that machining and all of that thought, all of that performance that you get out of this is you're going to get a hefty price point. So the Ramjet afterburner and compressor setup is $470. And in my opinion, I couldn't recommend us selling that just because of, you can almost, I mean, I actually think you can buy another Glock for that price. So if you separated the compressor and you just got the afterburner and Ramjet, you're gonna be around the $380, $390 mark. That's still really expensive. Our recommendation is get a Glock 17, get a case of ammo and go train. You're gonna get, a, I think you're gonna be more efficient than getting a Glock 45, Glock 19 with this setup and not shooting. So that is the reason why we're not selling it is mainly because of the price point. How this thing goes together is actually pretty, pretty interesting. So you have the Ramjet here and the afterburner. It slowly just slides on. And then you have this screw that it comes with that is tapered. So you don't need any thread locker or Loctite or anything like that. You slide her in there and you tighten her on and based on the geometry of this screw, it won't back out. Pretty cool. Now, another cool thing to note about this barrel that Radiant in is this is not technically a threaded barrel. So this is legal in all the states that infringe upon your rights, which is pretty cool. Now the compressor, like I said, you can change the springs out and it actually is very easy to do that. So all you do is you can set it down on the table and then the end piece here will just slide off. The spring comes off, put your next spring on, pull it on down, and then this guy will just go right back on. So, super simple. Overall, this complete system, the Ramjet and the Afterburner specifically, not so much the compressor, I don't really care about the compressor because I'm just using the OEM pound spring in it, or I'm using the Glock's OEM spring. Uh, this quickly became one of my favorite shooting pistols just because again how fast that recoil impulse was now would i recommend it to anyone no like i said just based on price and you can buy almost two cases of ammo for how much this thing costs um, now comparatively to other compensators out there i think this might be the best one mainly because of the form factor and the reliability so yes it did we did see some failures to get slide lock but we didn't notice any other malfunctions um, and that is much better than every other compensator I've used. I'm not gonna list all the compensator I've used or call anyone out, but this definitely was very, very minimal in reliability uh, decrease. So hope that hope this video helps you guys out if you're looking at getting a compensator, uh, maybe the Radian one, but overall recommendation is save your money, get a case of ammo, and shoot an OEM Glock.